23 Severe Weather Team coverage continues with what it will take to repair the tallest building in Tulsa damaged by Sunday's EF2. We have shown you a lot of the damage at Remington Tower. This view through the Fox 23 Skyview drone today. An insurance adjuster said repairs could take months and millions of dollars. Fox 23's Jackie Del Pilar attended a meeting of building tenants today. She joins us live with the extent of the damage. Jackie. The insurance adjuster says the building will likely need to be stripped down to its base and rebuilt. Uh, it looks a lot like a, a, a Steven Spielberg movie uh, in there. A disaster zone inside the Remington Tower. You can see the broken windows and missing bricks from the outside, but those who have been inside say that's just the beginning. It blew the roof off. It completely destroyed the, the penthouse suite, and then everything came down from there. Bill Sharp is an insurance adjuster working with Remington Management. He told tenants if their office is on the fifth floor or higher, consider it a total loss. The insurance adjuster says the wind and pressure Pressure from tornado traveled down the elevator shaft and pushed outward, causing an explosion of pressure throughout the building. Many tenants haven't been inside the building since the storms and say it's brought their business to a standstill. It's 17 years of my life that I can't get to right now. Tenants say they've been looking for answers about what's going on with the building. It's still unclear if and when they'll be allowed back in. To have that ripped out and you know and told you don't know when you're gonna be able to get back into it, it's it's frustrating. With the threat of storms tonight, there's a potential for more damage coming to the tower. Coming up at 6, I'll tell you what the tower and other businesses are doing to prepare. Reporting live in Midtown, covering news that matters. I'm Jackie Del Pilar, Fox 23 News.